Hey everybody, it's your girl Kia. This is my 21 week update. I am 21 weeks and six days a day. This week has pretty much been the same like the past couple of weeks. It's boring pretty much um, when it comes to my actual pregnancy. But first I'm gonna tell you about my own, um, about the symptoms I am having which is pretty much the same. I have occasional headaches every once in a while. Um, my boobs are still tender. I don't really notice it because it's, I'm so far along my pregnancy, I don't really notice it like I did when I was first pregnant. I still have a little bloating. When I have bloating, like after I eat or drink, it makes my back hurt worse. Still have more energy than I did in my first trimester, but every once in a while I do get tired still but mainly i do have a lot of energy i've been feeling the baby move a lot like i really began to notice it after my prenatal uh appointment ever since that day i've been feeling it feeling him move a lot jesse actually got to feel the baby move himself i was laying down yeah i was laying down and i felt him kicking like i didn't have my hand i didn't even have my hand on my belly and i felt him kicking or moving and I told him to put his hand on my belly really fast. I mean, he, tell him to hurry and put his hand on my belly because he just does it for like, a, like maybe a minute or so, not even a minute, and he just stops. So Jesse did it, and he felt it. And I, I was like so surprised that he felt it. So I was like for so long for him to feel it. And so I just, it's like I kept asking him, did you really feel it? Like, you know, I, was, I couldn't believe it. He finally got to feel the baby move himself. I'm happy about that. The achiness I had on my right side that I told you guys before in my last video, that hasn't came back, thank God. Um, but I'm pretty sure it was just round ligament pain, but you know, this is my first period, so I don't know nothing about it. When I went to my appointment two days ago, she asked, the doctor asked me if I was having any pain, like she always does every time I go up there. She asked me, am I in pain, having any pains or anything? And I didn't at the time, of course. But I told her that I did have, I, mean, I told her about it, that I did have um, achiness on my right side, but it's, she kind of seemed to not really care, but she wasn't my actual OBGYN, like, you know, the person that actually talks to me, talks to me. She was just someone in there just to check you in, pretty much, just check you weight and things. I think I felt like, it was about two days ago after the appointment, I've been feeling heartburn, but I'm not sure. I never had heartburn but um it was like a burning inside of my it must have been heartburn it was like in my chest area kind of I mean it wasn't bad it was like I was like because I'm like I'm a person that's in tune with my body a lot like if something's going on I can tell like a difference in how my body operates but it didn't last very long I haven't had it since then like it, it happened about two days ago let's say you have sensitive gums when you're pregnant which is true, but I already had sensitive gums to begin with. Well, not sensitive, but they were swollen. I used to make videos when I used to have, when I had braces. I was bad for not flossing, and it caused my gums to swell. And then when I got my my braces took off, I still like even today I don't floss. My gums are probably still swollen. The other day, I was just picking at my teeth, and I wasn't I wasn't exactly near my gums. I was like kind of picking at my teeth, and I just having to look down and blood on my fingers <laughs> it was like and i looked at my teeth and it's blood um so i don't know if that i mean it's probably from the pregnancy and the fact that i had swollen gums anyway i still get leg cramps at night if you, i think i've told you guys before that when i sleep like on my side like my leg and my heel like what i'm laying on it's, it's like a cramp kind of and i have to flip over and then that side starts to hurt and then the only way for me to feel relief is to sleep on my back and it's not good to sleep on your back so i try to keep like a pillow between my legs to get a nice firm pillow and put it between your legs if you're having leg cramps at night my mood swings in my opinion have lowered a little like sometimes i can re i realize that i am i realize when i am having a mood swing after i had a mood swing Unless I realize, like, if I'm talking to who I'm talking to, if they actually, if I actually had a boost swing on them, and I feel bad afterwards, half the time, sometimes it depends. But, um, 
I haven't been doing that much, in my opinion. But if you ask Hubby that, he'll say something different. My belly button has really started to, sh you know, come out. I'm pretty sure in the next two weeks, maybe two weeks, three weeks, it'll really be popped out. Cause it's taken so long for my belly button to pop out because my belly button was really deep. It was a deep belly button, and it's like it's gonna take a while for it to pop out, especially with this being my first pregnancy. Cause I know a lot of people that's further along or not further along, but like. I'm further along than they are and their belly button already popped. So yeah, you guys will see it whenever I show you my belly, my belly shot. Okay, so my appointment I had two days ago was my anatomy scan, or anatomy, I can never say it right, anatomy, anatomy scan. It's where you look at the baby's um, body parts, like you, the legs or the arms, the feet, and things like that, and the head, the size, and things. We actually went there to also double check to see if it was a boy because the last appointment when we actually, I have a video on, when we was trying to find the gender, they said the umbilical cord was between his legs, so we possibly thought it was a boy when it could have been a girl, but it's definitely a boy. And I'll show you guys the ultrasound pictures. So I finally got all my ultrasound pictures together in a book. Um, my mom had my um some of them but i got them back from her i have all my ultrasound pictures so i'll be able to show you guys that finally before my anatomy scan i had an appointment two weeks before that and i weighed 148 and then two days ago at this anatomy scan i weighed 153 so i gained five pounds in two weeks i don't know if that's good or bad i didn't ask but they did, usually if they don't say anything i don't even bother to ask like because usually they tell me if it's bad or good. If I wasn't, you know, I'm, I'm sure they're going to tell me if I'm gaining too much weight. But I don't think I am anyways. The person that did my um, anatomy skin slash ultrasound said that the baby weighs over a pound now. I didn't actually hear, I think she said like a pound and nine ounces. That's what Jason said she said. A pound and nine ounces. Almost two pounds, if I ain't mistaken. That's what he said. But I just heard her say a pound. I was like, wow. Like, as soon as she said a pound, it just stunned me. I looked in my What to Expect book, and it said that the baby is supposed to be 7 inches and 11 ounces. Which I don't know how many inches he is, but 11 ounces is not even a pound. So, I'm looking at a big baby right now. In a 70, 70 percentile, in 100 babies of being at the way he is so i i didn't understand what she meant like by 70 percent i didn't know if that was good maybe he should have been 90 percent so i asked her was that a good thing she said yeah but yeah he's a whole pound right now i have a whole pound in my belly go ahead and show you guys my ultrasound pictures um i don't have a scanner i did take a picture of a picture like i you know usually do and if you guys can't see these i will post those up but here's the ones and sorry about the glare um it's in a photo album that i bought and the tv's in front of me so yeah you might see some of the tv this is my baby at eight weeks and four days right there and he was at 2.4 centimeters 19 weeks and four days this is the gender of uh, ultrasound. That's his face. That's his face and his legs and his thing that we couldn't really see. And that's his butt there and his thing, which we couldn't really tell. Well, it looks like it to me, but I'm not even sure what that is. <laughs> I don't think that's, that's his heartbeat. Right there is his heart. And then the ultrasound I just had which is this one these are a more a lot more clear this is his foot this is his his arm his arm and his hand over here you got his um but these pictures is the double checking if it's a boy or girl it's definitely a boy and then i got one more of his head and his spine 
my next appointment is in four weeks is um on october the 18th and i get my um sugar test which for some of you guys that don't know what that is uh, which i i didn't even know what it is i had to look on the internet to find out um i went on babycenter.com and i'll read you exactly what they said on there it said when you arrive for the test you'll be given a sugar solution that contains 50 grams of glucose or sugar i think the stuff tastes like a very sweet soda pop it comes in different flavors I'm not sure if they had them exact flavors they even listed and you have to get all of it down in five minutes some centers keep it shield or let you pour it in pour it over ice and drink it cold an hour later they will take a blood sample from your arm to check your blood sugar level the idea is to see how efficiently your body processes sugar if the reading is abnormal or too high which happens 15 to 25 percent of the time your doctor will have you come back for a three hour sugar test to see if you really do have just gestational diabetes the good news is that most women whose test shows elevated blood sugar don't turn out to have it um reading that and what i've been told myself um they give you what it just said something tastes really sweet and if you fail the test, the test comes back negative, I think they have to keep you there and retest you with a double check or something like that. Drips there a long time, so. I'm not sure if I'm going to let Hubby come. After I tell Hubby this, because I just found out, I just looked on the internet just now for this video. And um, I'm probably going to tell Hubby that. And um, cause I'm pretty sure he don't want to sit up there with me that long <laughs> for just a sugar test. But, um, I'll see if he still wants to go. But yeah, that's what I'm doing in my next appointment. Now I'm going to tell you people, uh, I'm going to tell you guys about how, what people say about my pregnancy, like, in public. Most people, majority of people, tell me that, or they're talking about my boobs. And it really, like, I'm really sensitive about my boobs and how big they are. But, um, I know it's just, they're just bigger because I'm pregnant and I, and they'll go back, no, uh, they'll go back down to normal after my pregnancy. But, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a breast reduction. But when I started this pregnancy, I was a size D. And now I'm a double D. Other than that, some people say that I'm really starting to show, which I, which I obviously, I obviously know that. Some people say they can tell I'm pregnant by looking at my face. Some people say I have that glow, which I don't know what lady. I mean, maybe I'm not supposed to see it. Other people are supposed to see it. But when I'm at work and I have on my uniform, you can't really tell I'm pregnant. If I'm in street clothes, you can tell I'm pregnant. So yeah, that's all of my 21st week. I'm going to show you my belly and I'll see you guys for week 22. This is with the shirt on. Yeah, it's to be a shirt on the left side, or the right side, the left side, the right side, the shirt on. the shirt on. Last time I looked, which you can't see. You guys can see that I'm about 37 inches, so I grew. My belly button is poking. I almost like, I feel like I can just stick my hand and just pull it out. That's how close it is to popping out. I will see you guys for week 22. Talk to you guys later.